Hey, hey everyone. Welcome to Soulfish. Happy 2019. We're here in the gorgeous Red Rocks of Sedona. It snowed. Can you guys believe it snowed out here? Is that not crazy? Oh, helicopter's coming. Is that not crazy? Look how beautiful this is though. So it's pretty warm. It's not too crazy out here. It's it, it's it's a little breezy, kind of that wet little br cold breeze. I'm not trying to make you sick by spinning too fast. I was going to show you the helicopter, but he's moving too fast. But look how beautiful this is. Yeah, it's like a nice cool breeze, and then you have this really warm sun. It's just perfect hiking. Great to the outside. Really show you what we hear. Really clean and fresh. Feels marvelous. All right, I've got a lot to tell you today, so I'm gonna get to talking at you. So hey, welcome here. I'm so glad that you guys made it. I mean, I'm not rubbing it in anybody's face, but pretty, pretty amazing out here. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you're feeling my good vibes. I'm sending you a bunch of good vibes right now. I hope you're feeling that. You know, I, I've been thinking a lot about this time. I'm, you know, and and what I'm witnessing and. I want to share this with you because I think it's going to resonate. I think you're seeing this as well. You know, this is this is like uh, reminders and being reminded. It's it's really interesting how how you treat people, how people treat each other. Uh, this is your time to really shine. This is your time to change the way things are done. And it's been amazing to watch. Like Nance and I went to the grocery store on uh, New Year's Eve or whatever and it was like 10 o'clock in the morning or whatever and we don't live in a highly populated place as far as like you know like New York or something but you know, there were tons of people out but I was amazed at um, kind of the attitude the the uh, I don't want to say you know I'm not here to like I'm not here to throw rocks at things like the self-absorption or whatever kind of like you know how somebody pulls out and walks slow or or takes up the whole aisle or or backs out even though you're walking right behind him like you're supposed to move or like I'm saying that kind of energy it was all of that and it was happening like this and it wasn't like it was directed at us it, we were lucky in that it was more of like we were witnessing it happening to everyone else and how they work together and Nance and I were kind of like floating through this area you know like this uh, <laughs> like a maze of negative karma vortex you know you were like hot, you know dodging all the tornadoes we could but it was interesting it wasn't really directed at us because we were vibing in a different place and it was kind of it reminded me, which is why I'm sharing it with you, of how important it is that you hold your space, how important it is for you to know who and what you are, and that you can witness some stuff. And in the past, I would have been like, man, that's really crummy, or why did he do that? Or why did he pull out like that? Or why did he, it was a lot of that. Like, why did he, why did he? Dude, <clears throat> man, you know, there's no way to tell why people do stuff. That just, I've given up on that. that and that saved me a lot of negative feelings. I then came about and said, man, the only thing I can control is how I respond to what I may believe is not the right way to go about something, right? So, um, and most of the stuff that you get frustrated by, it doesn't even really affect you. It's not like serious stuff, you know? It's not somebody doing personal injury to somebody else or something where you have to step in. It's, 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 uh, it's all stupid little things that matter nothing. And you get worked up about it, and I think to myself, wow. So in this particular case, as an example, you know, because we were we were coming from a different space, we were able to kind of put out good juju and at the same time avoid all these kind of negative tornadoes happening around us, but be able to witness it. And I'm sharing this with you to say it's a real time of manifestation. This is a time where when stuff happens it can it can have an immediate impact. It can it can have an immediate physical impact. We talked about a, a, a thought can become a thing, right? So um, I want you to be aware, you'll start to witness how people are behaving and a lot of this because of where the energy's at right now. And so just you be the other side, you be the light side, you be the one that can be a little more compassionate, maybe a little more tolerant, a little more um, patient, forgiving, uh, mellow. And, and you'll find that it'll kind of flow in and flow out, but, but, but by you holding your space, it'll kind of help to change what's going on around you, and even more so, you won't be as negatively impacted. Um, I hope that's helpful. It's a, it's a wonderful time. I'm so glad to have you here at the beginning of the year, and I'm so excited to see where this year takes us all. So until next time, much love.